module on sales career mistakes. A lot of these mistakes I bring up in other videos within this um, sales training program, but what I wanted to do was just go through this bullet list. Um, most of them, once I say them, will be obvious what I mean, so I'm not going to spend a lot of your time going through the details, but I just want to go through what I see as mistakes I've made in my own sales career or mistakes I see other people making where if they just fix these one or two things, they probably go much farther and get a much more re big return on their investment of time and effort they put into their career. So first, no specialization. You need to specialize within an industry, specialize your sales skills, um, specialize your ability to follow up with people, be good on the phone, be good over email, etc. Specialize as much as possible. We live in a knowledge-based economy and the more specialized knowledge you have, the better. Next, uh, no meritocratic desire. You don't like being paid on commission. You don't like being paid based on performance. You don't like meritocratic work environments. That can hurt you. Salespeople need to be performance results driven. So you have to learn to be that way eventually if you're going to succeed. Next, no self-improvement focus. Some salespeople write it off, waste of time, just going to learn about my industry or whatever. I work hard all day, closing deals, closing sales. When I get home, I'm going to relax, watch Netflix, you know, kick back, take it easy and have a beer. Self-improvement is really important for sales. If you combine selling skills, self-improvement skills, and industry niche knowledge, it can be very powerful. And it's really important to being successful as a sales professional. No positive attitude. This goes with self-improvement, studying positive psychology. Um, writing off training books for your industry is a waste of time. You need to train yourself. You don't have to go to all the expensive conferences, but maybe at least read books every week on your industry and get better and better at knowing your customer avatar and their needs and benefits and what trends are really affecting the industry. And then last, no, no ownership of success, no proactive networking, no real career planning or really driving your energy towards your long-term end goal. Hope you enjoyed these tips on becoming a more successful career sales professional. And um, we'll see you next time. This is businesstraining.com where you can earn master's level qualifications to help you make more money.